Hey guys, it's Carol. Um, you will find most of my work at my graphic fairy. Right now I have an Etsy store, but I will be eventually setting up my website so you can buy my designs on there. So anyways, I'm going to show you how to make different types of petals directly in design space. I'm new to your community. I hope you accept me, and I so far you guys have liked what I've done. So I'm going to switch over to my screen now so you can see what I'm doing. So, these are the petals I'm going to show you how to make. This one here is just a standard leaf that is in cartridge. Yeah, in the images. <laughs> Not sure which cartridge. I searched the leaf. I got both of these from leaf, but this one is this one here. Leaf MA3F23. And then the other one I used. Loading. Let's see here. What's this one? Leaf M4. 7282. Insert these here. Okay, for starters on this leaf, it actually has two pieces. One piece is hidden, so just you need to ungroup them and you can get rid of this one. I think it is designed to be able to have a fold, but we don't need that one. Make this a little bigger here so you can see what I'm doing. And first step, get a square and bring it over here and you're going to place it yeah, right about there. And select them together and then slice. Now you can get rid of the pieces left, and there's the beginning of it. Next, duplicate this one, unlock it so you can change the size. I'm going to position it, make it a little skinnier, just kind of get it in there in the middle, a little more skinnier. I want to have some sort of an edge there. No. Basically, you want it centered in there. But, now we're trying to hollow this out like this. So, the next step is to take the piece that we just shrunk down. Get a square. And make this square the size of the base of the bigger one. Now select the square and the smaller leaf and we're going to weld them together and then select both the welded piece plus the bigger leaf behind and we're going to slice. Now you can get rid of the little leaf and what's remaining of the square and there is your petal. Now to make like the flower that I did, it does require a little bit of math. Uh, I'll shrink it down some here. And duplicate. And you can go to edit, rotate, 180. And then Um, set to horizontally, make sure they're centered. Probably need to move them away from each other just a little bit more. By the way. Select both. Group them together so they hold their position. Then duplicate. 
get them centered on each other again, edit, rotate 90 degrees, and duplicate again, center it, um, yeah, edit, rotate 45 degrees, Center it one more time, and then edit, rotate, um, three fifteen. There you go, and there is your beginning of your flower. As long as you have these openings here, this will stay attached to the paper and these will get cut out and you'll end up with the little pop-out petals. No, oh, there is. Let's see here. Group them together. We'll move them out of the way. Now, next is this one. I basically I did the same thing. Figured you could probably use this like as a, a rose petal or something. I haven't played with it yet, but we will see what happens when I come up with something. Yeah, whatever. But again, duplicate, unlock, play with the size. And this time I just sliced it. Get rid of the little piece. And I used a circle since it's kind of sitting all catty corner there. And slice again. You can basically do this with any of the images we have access to in the cartridges, either in your subscription or what's free. Some people were saying you can't do it with vector graphics, or, you know, the SVG files you upload, but I have been able to as long as you can ungroup them and get, get it down to a single piece, you can do this as well with those. That is how you use the slice to turn other images into new stuff to use for pictures. Hope that's been helpful. Again, my Etsy is my graphic fairy, all one word. And soon I will have a website. Thanks for watching.